Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and today I'm going to be doing a bikini hacks video where I show you how to take pictures in a bikini. So if you guys want to see some tips and tricks on how I get all my bikini selfies then stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, first of all, I just want to mention that this video is sponsored by Shein. Thank you, Shein, for sponsoring this video. All the bikinis that you're going to see in this video are from Shein, and I will have all the links to those down below in the description box, as well as, like, my sizes and stuff like that. So, um, let's just jump right in. So my first tip for when you're shooting bikini pictures is to pick a location. I chose to shoot by the pool today, but really you can shoot yourself anywhere in a bikini, the pool, the beach, inside the house, the snow, whatever. Just pick your location and um, that's step one. <laughs> And once you pick your location, you can either get a tripod to set up your phone, because that's what I'm shooting with today in all of this footage, is I'm just shooting with my phone because I find that the most easiest, convenient thing to shoot with. I do have professional cameras. I'm shooting on a professional camera right now for this YouTube video. But when I take my selfies, I just use my phone because the iPhone camera is actually really good. Even the later models, like I have friends that still use like an iPhone 8 and their photos still look great. So I just use my phone and I do sometimes use a tripod, but since I was at the pool and it's like the community pool in my neighborhood, I just bring my purse and I prop my phone up on my purse and honestly it works just as good as a tripod. A tripod is the best because sometimes my phone will slide off or fall off my purse, but a tripod will always hold my phone in place, and then of course a tripod is usually adjustable, so I can adjust it to different heights and levels and angles, whereas I'm more limited when I just set my phone on my purse, but using my purse as a tripod or a chair or whatever you can prop your phone up on, I've done it all, trust me, um, usually works just as good. It's just a little more limiting, um, but it is more like convenient and casual than carrying around a tripod. Also, if there's like other people there at the pool or wherever you're shooting at, sometimes it could be a little awkward or embarrassing to like bust out the tripod. You shouldn't care though. You really shouldn't care what other people think. Like, screw them. And if they take a picture of you and send it to influencers in the wild that says more about them than you okay I think influencers in the wild honestly is so mean I think that whole thing is like ew it's obviously to just make fun of people and I don't understand but anyways that was a side note I got distracted okay tip number two is to pick a bikini Whatever feels best on you, grab your favorite bikini. I know we all have that like one favorite bikini and if you don't, definitely check out Shein because they have so many different options. They have like, oh my god, you'll be scrolling their bikini bathing suit section all day long. There's so many different options to choose from and they are very affordable and honestly, I've purchased from Shein a lot. These bikinis in this video were gifted to me but I have purchased my own bikinis from Shein. This top is actually from Shein by the way. Um, and the quality everything always fits me I love that they have extra smalls too because I'm petite and not everywhere has extra smalls so I really appreciate that they have extra smalls also but just grab your bikini pick your bikini um, when I was shooting the content for this video yesterday I brought all the Shein bikinis that I have so don't be afraid to bring multiple bikinis if you want to shoot multiple different pieces um, just grab your favorite maybe it's a one piece whatever just do you you can also uh, grab some shorts if you feel more comfortable wearing shorts and a bikini top. It doesn't matter, just put it on anything you feel comfortable in, just grab it. Tip number three is to accessorize. And you can accessorize with anything you want. You don't have to accessorize. Honestly, most of the bikini pictures that I've taken, I don't accessorize because I generally take my bikini pictures when I'm actually going to the beach or when I'm actually going to the pool. I don't just go to the pool to like take pictures. I usually end up deciding like, okay, I want to lay by the pool today and when I'm there, I want to take pictures as well. And when I'm genuinely using the pool or the beach or whatever, I don't like to wear jewelry, so I don't I don't wear jewelry to 
the beach or the pool. Except like my rings, I wear these rings like all the time. These don't come off. I sleep with these on, I shower with these on. And same with my earrings, these are just like my permanent accessories, my permanent jewelry, you know what I mean? But besides that, I don't like put on chunky necklaces or belly chains or anything like that. I don't have, I think those are so pretty and honestly I wish I wore those, but I just am not like a jewelry person like that. I. It's not comfortable to me. I don't like anything touching my neck. So um, you don't have to accessorize, but if you are someone who likes to accessorize with lots of jewelry, um, then put it on, you know? I think it always looks good. Also, um, this could be jewelry, a hat, sunglasses, or maybe even some kind of cover-up. So accessorize if you want. That's kind of like an optional step. Also, sometimes... Um, I'm just gonna use this cup for example because I'm drinking coffee right now. It's like 7 30 in the morning as I'm filming this. Today's a busy day. But sometimes if I'm at the pool and I have like, let's say I'm drinking like a Topo Chico. You know what a Topo Chico looks like? The bottle is like really um, kind of like aesthetically pleasing. Or if I have like a LaCroix can or something like that. Like sometimes I'll pose with my drink and kind of use my like drink as a prop or like an accessory or whatever. So you could do that as well. Tip number four is I really suggest downloading an app like Lens Buddy. There's many different apps like that. You don't have to download Lens Buddy, but I've found that app to be the best app. Um, Lens Buddy is just an app that is basically a picture taking app like the camera app on your phone, you know, except for it takes time, time photos. And I know the iPhone does that too, but on the iPhone you set like either a three second or a 10 second timer, I think. And then it shoots like one picture that won't cut it. Cause then you're going to be running back and forth to your phone. No, you need a picture taking app that's going to take hundreds of photos for you. Okay. And I'll explain why in a second, but Lens Buddy is all I use when I take selfies and when you use this you could prop your, you know, instead of taking a selfie and having to be like, ah, like hold your phone, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to stay in frame. Instead of like having to hold your phone when you take a selfie, you know what I mean? You can take your phone and you can prop it up, like I said, on your purse or a tripod and then just turn on the Lens Buddy app. I will share my settings somewhere on the screen if I haven't already. The settings that I use in Lens Buddy are the timer, which I have set to the initial delay. The initial timer delay I have set to five seconds. Um, number of photos, so set how many photos you want to take in one time of recording. I have the number of photos set to 250. I used to have, I think, 60 photos, I think was the option. Or I think I had it set to like 50 photos at first because I felt like 50 was enough, but it wasn't. So I set it to take 250 photos in one sitting <laughs> and usually I end up doing even more than that and then it takes um, the timer speed is 0.5 seconds so set the delay between each photo so the initial timer delay five seconds is basically like you have five seconds to press the button set your phone down wherever you're gonna set it and then it's gonna count you down five four three two one and then it's gonna start snapping those 250 photos and it's going to take um, the photos 0.5 seconds apart. So it's like snap, 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 snap. I think I had it set to one second before and it was just the delay was too long. I wanted it to like snap quicker. Come on, we got to go. We got to move. And I'll explain why in a second. But those are the settings that I use on Lens Buddy. And I actually, okay, I love live photos. And I didn't know that Lens Buddy took live photos. It's an option that you either toggle on or toggle off. But yesterday I realized that you can turn that feature on on Lens Buddy. So if you are someone who likes live photos and you want Lens Buddy to shoot live photos for you, then um, that is an option. I turned it on for a little bit yesterday, but I felt like it was making my phone um, go slower. And the storage on my phone is like, I had to delete stuff yesterday in the middle of working because I just have too much crap on my phone. And I felt like the live photos took up more space. I don't know if that's true, but I ended up turning the feature off because I felt like they were taking up more space. But just a side note, you can turn on the live feature, 
life photo feature on Lens Buddy. So using Lens Buddy is great because it frees up your hands and when your hands are free because you're not holding your phone taking pictures, you can, um, you have more options when you're posing or, you know, holding a prop or whatever. It's just way better, trust me. And in the past, I used to use a little, um, I forget what it's called, but it was like a little remote control button that I, like, was able to hook up to my phone via Bluetooth and I would just use it to like take photos but I had to hold the remote in my hand and in a lot of pictures I would end up putting my hand behind my back to like hide that I had like a little selfie remote and I don't use that at all anymore. I used to buy those like all the time because they're like this big, they're round and I would lose them all the time and I used to buy them all the time and I'm just so glad that I found Lens Buddy because you don't even need the remote. Trust me, download Lens Buddy if you don't already have it and try it out, you'll freaking love it. Okay, last but not least, have fun. This is my final tip. Tip number five is just have fun, okay? It might feel a little awkward at first if you've never taken selfies like this, but trust me, it gets easy, it gets fun, it's going to be the best way to take selfies. You could take selfies with your friends this way, or maybe if you're just with your family at some family event, you guys want to all get in the picture and, you know, you don't want to leave anybody out to take the photo. This is just such a fun way to take pictures. And, um, like I said, it might feel a little awkward at first if you've never taken selfies like this or if you're just not someone who's into taking selfies, but try it out. It gets much easier and it gets fun and, and you'll loosen up after a few minutes. And like I said earlier, if you're in public taking selfies, like for example, I was at the community pool in my neighborhood taking all the footage yesterday for this video. Um, nobody was there. Oh, my friend was there with me, but sometimes, you know, the neighbors are there enjoying the pool. Um, sometimes I do take pictures in front of people and I just don't care. Don't care what other people think because their opinion literally doesn't matter. And as long as you're not hurting anyone or, you know, doing anything bad, um, then who cares what anybody thinks? Don't be embarrassed. Just do your thing and, um, who cares? And the biggest tip... This is still tip number five, have fun. But my biggest piece of advice is keep moving. You need to keep moving. You need to change your pose, okay? I have friends who, um, some, okay. I've worked as a model since I was 18, okay? And I've been doing the social media thing for a long time and I feel like I'm a professional selfie taker, seriously. And sometimes my friends, when we go out, they don't model, they're not comfortable in front of a camera, they don't take selfies all the time, you know, they're just not used to it. When we go out, they want me to take photos of them, and I'm like, okay, yeah, like, I love to help my friends out like that. I'm the friend that's, like, on the floor, I'm different angles, I'm like, yes, queen, move your leg, uh-uh, stick your butt out, suck it in, you know, I'm like that friend, and I'm gonna take, like, a million pictures of you. But I noticed that my friends who aren't used to doing that aren't comfortable in front of the camera. So they just get into like one pose and then they're just like, and I'm snapping away. And they're just like, and I'm like snapping away and I'm like, girl, move, you know? So my biggest piece of advice when you're taking selfies of yourself or if someone else is taking pictures of you, keep moving, okay? Keep moving. Po it's hard to pose here because I don't have a lot of room, but like, pose, 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 you know what I mean? Like, this is so such bad posing because I normally wouldn't pose like this. But like, oh no, my light fell, hold on. But like, pose, move, move your hair, whatever, go like this, smile, pose, move, crouch down, stand up, turn around, stick your butt out, like, keep moving. This is so hard to show you. <laughs> And this, my little filming studio is so small and there's literally a wall right here and I'm like sitting on a chair and I'm trying to stay in frame. But my biggest piece of advice is just keep moving, okay? The combination of moving, so you're like having different poses in all your pictures and, and taking like 250 pictures in one setting. Like I told you, I set the number of pictures to 250 on the Lens Buddy app. That means I'm going to get... 250 photos out of that little selfie session, okay? And you could take more. I think I took 2,000 photos yesterday because it counts them for you. I'm out of breath now. But if you keep moving in your photos with intention, don't just be like, you know, because then they're going to be blurry. But like if you keep like changing your pose or maybe you like don't smile and then you smile and then you go like this and then you go like this or whatever, I don't know, whatever your poses are, then when you're done, 
and you look through all the photos, you're going to have a lot of different selfies to choose from. You might not like all of them, but at least you have different options. It's not just you like 250 times. You know what I mean? If you just, if you don't move and you just go like this, then you're just going to have 250 of the same photo. You know what I mean? So have you ever had a friend take a photo of you? Like, let's say you go out to dinner and you love your outfit and you're like, I want to get a good picture of me tonight for my Facebook <laughs> or my dating app. And you're like, hey Jessica, can you take a picture of me? And you're like, she's like, okay. And then you sit there and you pose for the picture and she goes like, one, two. She takes two pictures of you. And you don't move your position, you're just like, and then she gives you your phone back and both the photos suck and you hate them. And you don't want to ask her like, can you take a couple more? I don't like these because it's awkward. That's why you need to take a lot of photos and you need to keep moving. So when you look through all the photos when you're done, you have lots of different options to choose from. That's my biggest tip in this whole video is move, keep moving, and take a lot of photos. And this goes for when you ask your friends to take pictures of you, tell them. Say, I want you to take a picture of me and I want you to just keep snapping. Okay, Jessica, keep snapping. Take a lot. Don't just take two. Like, take a million in this one sitting. It'll take like 10 seconds. Just keep snapping and I'm going to keep moving. And trust me, when you do that, the possibilities of you liking the picture or getting a good shot is way higher. Okay? So, remember that. And yeah, you can change your pose. So you can change your pose, you know, shift your body around, move positions, stand up, sit down, whatever. Change your facial expression, smile, make a mad face, laugh, look away, look at the camera, look at your nails, drink your drink. Just get creative, keep moving. And the more you do this, the more easy it will feel. Turn to the side, turn to the back. You know what I mean? Put your hair, mess with your hair. Oh my god. Go like this go like this, whatever. Just keep moving and take a lot of photos and have fun and practice your poses in your selfie camera. It's different than practicing them in the mirror. I don't even practice posing in the mirror because it's just different. It's not the same. If you want to practice your poses or your facial expressions or whatever, set up your camera, your selfie camera, your front camera and practice your poses in your camera because that's going to give you the best view I think also another tip um, if you're not feeling the the photos maybe your lighting's off move to a different spot that has better lighting um, another way to one way to figure out like where the best lighting is especially if you're outside I never shoot in this kind of lighting I don't even like this lighting for my YouTube videos to be completely honest because I just hate artificial lighting for me it's like really hard to get it to look great um, it's like a skill. It's like an actual talent that people have lighting. That's why there's like light techs and stuff. I don't like indoor lighting, so I would suggest shooting in natural lighting. That's the best. Natural lighting is always going to be the best, whether that's in your house in front of a window or outside by the pool or whatever. Natural lighting is always going to be the best. And if you're outside and you're trying to find the best lighting, sometimes the best thing to do is just take your phone and like move in a circle outside and just look at how the light changes on your face in the camera and whatever you think looks best, go with that. That's one way to find the good lighting outside if you don't really know. Just literally like test it out and just move with your camera and like be like, oh, okay, right here, my face looks the best. Because trust me, you'll be able to tell um, where the lighting looks the best. And also different times of day, of course, um, I try to avoid like the harsh harsh light because usually harsh sunlight doesn't look that good but you can still you can still work it and what was my last tip another thing if you're not feeling the selfie if you set your phone up somewhere in your location that you chose and you're just like ew I don't look good here um, either change your lighting move your position so your lighting looks different um, maybe face towards the sun or put the sun behind you or maybe even the sun to the side of you whatever just experiment don't be afraid to experiment and move around and also change your camera angle so if I prop my phone up on my purse here like I level with me or whatever and I start taking selfies and I'm like ew I look gross I'm gonna adjust the angle of my camera I usually like to put my phone like below me and shoot like so my camera is looking up at me because I'm short, I'm like 5'5", five five, and I find that when I shoot with my camera at a lower angle, 
looking up at me. I look longer, I look taller. People think I'm like six foot and I'm not. You just gotta work your angles, you gotta know your angles. Um, so, you know, if you're not feeling it, adjust the height of your camera. That's one reason why a tripod is great because it's easier to adjust the height of your camera and the angle. When you prop it up on your purse like I do, you're a little more limited, but um, you could still figure it out. So yeah, if you are not feeling the selfie that you're trying to take, move your position so you find better lighting or adjust the height and angle of your camera, um, you know, just to get a better angle of you because trust me, you might move your camera 12 inches lower and you'll be like, wow, I look freaking good. And then you might move it up six inches and be like, ew, I hate this angle. So it's just all about preference. You just got to experiment, have fun, work it, whatever. And um, that's it. Those are my tips. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me down below in the comment section. And again, all the bikinis that you saw in today's video are from Shein and they're so freaking cute and so comfortable. And my friend who was with me yesterday at the pool, she asked me like, oh my God, those are so cute. Cause she's like watching me work and try on all the different bikinis. She's like, I kind of want some. And she asked me, are they true to size? Yes, I feel like they are true to size, very true to size. And um, they do sell separate pieces. I think most of them come in a set. So if you if you like the extra small bottoms in a set, you I think you gotta kind of go with the extra small top. But they do have individual pieces on their website as well. I did see that. So um, if you need like a small bottom but a large top or vice versa, whatever, um, they do sell like individual pieces. So um, yeah, but I'll have a link to everything down below. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my other videos. And um, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.